Well, turning to federal politics now, the Albanese government is facing calls to dramatically expand its $10 billion housing fund. Let's bring in Trudy McIntosh. Trudy, what's your sense of where this will land? Will the government cave in to these demands? Well, Ash, there's no sign of that at this stage, and I'm told that the negotiations with the minor party, the Greens, have stalled for now, and that they believe, the Greens believe, that they're getting next to nowhere in their negotiations with the government on this. Now, at the centre of this is an election promise by the Albanese government. It is to create around 30,000 social and affordable homes over the next five years. It's a $10 billion fund. That's the headline figure. Now, this is off budget, and it's designed to uh, create earnings, and then the earnings are reinvested into creating more homes. Now, the estimate is around $500 million will be invested into housing each year. So nowhere near the massive $10 billion figure that we often talk about. Now, the problem here is the Greens and other crossbenchers believe that is nowhere near enough money to actually try and fix some of the housing problems we're seeing across the country. They are demanding the government increase that amount of money, also potentially with a co-investment from the states. But it seems at this stage there's no uh, movement on budging from the government side. Look, Labor's approach doesn't even touch the sides of the housing crisis. The reality is, is that that $10 billion that at best case will spit out $500 million a year, that could, that'll be exhausted in five years. Those $500 million of payments every year will be fully alloca allocated, building 30,000 social and affordable homes. The Medical Research Fund is $20 billion. I'm saying let's, let's have more ambition. Housing Minister Julie Collins largely keeping her head down on this, negotiating behind the scenes, but she says this is the biggest investment we've seen by a federal government in housing, particularly on the social and affordable side, ever. And they argue that any delay here with the Senate is going to mean none of these houses are constructed at all. It's essentially a big game of chicken in the Senate at the moment. And according to the Financial Review, the Prime Minister is of the view that he doesn't want to funnel billions more into this fund and instead he's willing to actually take this to the next election. So a real standoff here with the Greens to see if they actually can reach some sort of compromise. Trudy McIntosh in Canberra, thank you.